Using a spreadsheet and the data below, determine the rate equation for the breakdown of sugar into fructose and glucose. In this sort of a problem, you need to plot the data three ways. Zero order, first order, and second order. First, we'll plot the data for a first order fit. The concentration values are left unchanged for a zero order fit. Because of the curvature in the blue line, we need to proceed to first order and second order fits. For a first order fit, the natural log of the concentration values are taken. Here we see the natural log versus time appears to be a much straighter line than the zero order fit, but we will still proceed and test a second order fit. One over the concentration values is taken for a second order fit. Plotting those values against time, we see a noticeable curvature in the line. Therefore, the reaction is first order. To determine the rate constant, we simply substitute concentration and time values into the first order integrated rate equation. Here I chose, of course, 0.316 for the initial concentration and 0.274 for the concentration at 39 minutes. And I came up with 3.68 times 10 to the minus third for the rate constant. Therefore, the rate law is 3.68 times 10 to the minus third times the concentration of the sucrose raised to the first power. You could have chosen other times, such as 80, 140, and 210, and calculated a k value very similar to what I have, 